There's a new Bright Jenny in town. The local coffee roasters who've made a name for themselves in Kelowna's North End have now opened on the edges of Kelowna's landmark district. Meet Dave Upshaw. It's always been my dream to open Bright Jenny locations kind of in the whole, whole of Kelowna, whole of Okanagan. Um, this is my next step in that process, right? So uh, we're in the, what's this area called? This is Landmark, basically, right? So we're at the edge of Kirshner, kind of close to Springfield. So it's it's just on the edge of Landmark. So people can kind of come and go. and don't have to go all the way in. It's more of a, a drive-by location type of thing. Smaller here than our other locations, so it's more of a grab-and-go space. There's about uh, 15 seats, so a, a little bit less than our 100 seats at the other space. But, uh, yeah. It, it, it's sort of a neighborhood that's kind of looking for a personality, and I guess mm. you can add to that. I think so, yeah. I, I mean, our other space, it's, it's the brewery district now, but before I think it was basically just a bunch of industrial spaces. So I think, I, I hope at least that we brought personality to that area, and it's now growing, it's becoming a really cool thing, and I, 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 I think we had a part to do with that. And here I'm hoping to do a similar thing, is to kind of bring this neighborhood up and uh, add some personality to it, which is kind of our thing, right? Coffee with personality is one of our, our sayings, right? So our staff are, are amazing. They, they really make you feel welcome and, and that you're, you're at home when you're in a place and they don't make you feel stupid. Well, like you go into a, a coffee shop, some of it can be quite pretentious and um, they don't like your questions and stuff. And we, we want you to ask questions about coffee. We want to be able to, to educate you on real coffee. Right. So I think, I think that we have the the vibe there that, that just makes people feel comfortable. Comfortable asking hard questions, comfortable being themselves, and uh, they can relax and just enjoy themselves, so. And, and you do come at this with a true love of coffee. This isn't just an area uh, that you thought there was business opportunities. You used to actually roast your own mm -hmm. coffee, am I right? Yeah, so, I mean, just a brief history lesson on, on Bright Jenny. We were, we had a different name before, I can't say it, but we were at the farmer's market. It was a, a, a type of boat. <laughs> Uh, so we were at the farmer's market with a little trailer that I, I roasted the coffee on my barbecue. So I had a small little roaster. Um, I would kind of roast it by hand and we have just slowly grown up into to what we are now. So roasting coffee by myself and for my friends was something that I just love to do. And I just, I love bringing out the flavor in the coffee that's, that's there from the farms. And uh, as much as we can do that to share with people, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so, yeah. It's so, kind of my avenue to share yeah. share my love of coffee. I think a lot of people go into a coffee shop because they they just love the feel of a coffee in their hand and maybe that that amazing art on the yeah. top of their latte. But you often steer people down to this pour over end where they really yeah. get to dig into the different sure. flavors you can get in some of these coffees. Yeah. So I mean, we have a, a pour over bar at the other space as well, but here we have an actual dedicated pour over bar. So we have our espresso machine on the one side, and then this section here where you can sit down and enjoy your coffee and talk to the barista about what they're making you, right? So they, you can watch your coffee be made by hand, directly in front of you. You can choose what you want. We have a list of specialty coffees you can order from. And it, it, it brings out a lot more nuance in the coffee than just like a regular drip coffee. So you can taste more of the flavors. So like the one we're drinking right now is really fruity and uh, just, just tastes really nice. Black, we, we strongly recommend never putting cream in them because it just, it just takes away from the flavor, right? So there's 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 acidity in it, which sometimes you we were talking about this earlier. Some people think acidity is a bad thing, but really it's just like the nice, pleasant feeling in your mouth of something that's just kind of bright and pleasant, like a like a crisp apple kind of. Right? That's what we mean when we say acidity. And and that's why one of the reasons it's called Bright Jenny. Yeah, absolutely. So bright is one of the main words that we use as a descriptor for the types of coffees that we serve. Of, of course, not our dark roast, but. Um, our lighter roasts are more bright, more fruity, and crisp. Um, right. So bright, and then Jenny, of course, is my wife, who's my inspiration for everything I do. And she's also a super bright person as well, so it just kind of fits. And so, that's sweet. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so it, it almost sounds like a, a coffee tragedy then, if someone comes in and says, give me the darkest roast you've got, and then dumps a bunch of cream in it. They're, we, they're... we are fine with that. We have a dark roast visit before that, right? Like, we, we, we don't deny that. I love dark roasts too. I love a, a good dark roast with cream in it. It tastes like chocolate and molasses. It's really nice. Yeah. I, my, I come from the Starbucks world is where I kind of learned a lot of what I knew at, at the beginning and that's all dark roast and I, I used to love that type of thing. And 
Um, I don't deny that dark roasts are fantastic as well. It's just a very different product. Right. But we absolutely want those people to come in as well because right. we have a really nice, rich dark roast. Dump as much cream as you want in it. Um, my, my mom and my dad are, are, are true dark roast fans. They've never changed and they, they, they come here every day. Obviously, right. they're my parents. But <laughs> the, the other difference people might notice is unlike the original location, it's a little smaller here. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess this is a bit more hustle and bustle, this yeah. area. So more kind of a grab and go. Absolutely. That's the idea. Um, we have a lot more parking here as well, but it's more people can come in, they can park and they can go on their, on their way. I, we're like, I think we're about central ish city. So people are on their way to work. They're, they're going to Rona, they're going, they're passing through. And I think the idea here is they can come and grab their coffee and leave, or they can just sit and enjoy as well. Like it's, like you said, it's smaller, but it's cozy, I think too. So right. yeah. Well, thanks very much and good luck with yeah. your new location. Thank you very much. Appreciate and, it. And thank you for watching Kelowna now.